Okay, so for this henna tutorial, you're going to need some type of oil, and I'm just using extra virgin olive oil. You're also going to need a lemon or anything acidic. You can also use tea. You're going to need a spoon to mix it with. You are going to need your henna, and this is the henna that I use, and I get it from the Indian grocery store. You're going to need a container to mix it in, and this is just um, an empty container that I cleaned out. You will also be needing some type of conditioner. I chose Hello Hydration because you're going to use a lot of conditioner, so you want that conditioner to be a rather inexpensive conditioner. So first, I'm just going to open this container, and this is just my henna that I just took out. And you're going to want to pour about a cup of henna into the jar. So I'm just going to use the rest of that henna. Then I'm going to go ahead and pour in some extra virgin olive oil. And henna can be quite drying, so you just want to use a moisturizing oil. And I'm going to do about two to three tablespoons of this. Next, I'm going to go ahead and squeeze that lemon juice. Into the henna mixture. And lastly, I'm going to pretty much fill up the container with conditioner. So for one henna treatment, I'm going to be using pretty much about half of this bottle. Then I'm just going to go ahead and mix it together. Now, here's the consistency of this henna treatment. And as you can tell, it's rather thick. And, I mean, that's okay if that's how you want it. But if not, then what I do is I just take a little bit of water. And I add water to the mixture to pretty much soften and loosen it up. And this will also help the henna expand because you're actually going to need a pretty good amount to cover your whole head. So this is what makes my henna looser and easier to manage because that conditioner makes it extremely thick. And then you just want to go ahead and mix that up and you can add as much water as you want depending on the consistency that you would like it to be so now here's my final consistency it's pretty creamy and easy to maneuver and the only thing that you want to do with this when you're done with it you just want to make sure that you get a container with a lid or that you cover this up because some of the if it's not covered up while it sits the henna can tend to dry so you just want to cover it up and if you've used natural products like I use lemon um, you might want to put this inside of the refrigerator but try to let your henna sit for at least a day at least 24 hours so I'm just gonna take this and go ahead and put it inside of the refrigerator thanks for watching guys bye